Hey guys, uh, welcome to Plat Tutorials, and this is uh, How to Make a Car Game Episode 2. Okay, so I'm gonna jump out to the tutorial real quick because this is gonna be a big one. Alright, so first of all, we're gonna do is we're gonna add some good look to the scene, and then we're gonna add some good look to the car, and we're gonna add some wheel colliders to the tire so that it won't gonna uh, fall through the uh, floors. Okay, so in order to do that, what you gotta do is to uh, is to add some texture to the terrain. So uh, what you have to do is to select, uh, click on the terrain and get rid of this paint brush icon, click on it and then go edit texture, add texture and then uh, click on this circular icon, the small circular icon then select the uh, texture that you want, I want this good dirt thing and you can select the tile offset of it but uh, I don't want to set it up, I'm just going to leave that right there and just click on add, All right so you can see that it added a seamless texture to the uh, to the surface and uh, to the terrain, and now what we have to do is to add a skybox to the uh, to the workspace. Okay, so just go to edit, render settings, and here you can see you can add a skybox material to it. You can assign it. Okay, so we have some presets of skyboxes over here. So we're gonna drag the sunny kiss skybox up here. All right, you can see that it had it, it added a skybox to the scene. Alright, so skybox materials consist of six Paranama images. You can create your own images by some external softwares like uh, uh, Spacecape and Orgy Laminar and uh, some other softwares. I am not aware of uh, that much. Okay, now let's add some good look to the car. Alright, so first thing that you have to do is to make uh, make reflection to the car that everyone wants. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do is to go to Go select on this mesh or the car mesh and then go to the car and select reflective and go diffuse. Alright, so it uh, uh, it asks you for a reflection cube map. Alright, so we don't have a reflection cube map, we have to search for one. Okay, so and in order to create a, a new cube map, just go project and then create a new cube map. And on this cube map, I'm going to re rename it as reflective. Reflective, and then just leave it right there. And I go standard assets and search for the textures of the sky boxes. Okay, so now you can see to the sky boxes. Just assign these uh, images to this material. Okay, so back is gonna be at the back, down is gonna be at the bottom, and front is gonna be at the front, and left is gonna be at the left, right is gonna be at the right and then up is going to be at the top. Okay, now you can see it has this really Paranama looking reflection to it. Alright, now select the surface and go to the cube map and drag the cube map over to the or to this reflection cube map uh, empty assigned texture and add it. Now you can see it has added some sort of reflection to it. It's not real time but it looks real good. Okay, now let's add some good texture to the tires. Now select uh, one tire and then click on the texture of it. Now duplicate that texture by clicking Ctrl D on your keyboard. And it's going to take a while. All right, now rename this texture to no or wheel norm. Now wheel norm means the normal map of the wheel. Now we're going to convert this to normal map to put the texture and make it normal map. Uh, all right, now apply it. Okay, now go over here uh, and then select the, uh, let's say, bump to diffuse and drag this wheel to it. Alright, you can see that it have added a bit more depth to it. Alright, that's what we want. And I know it's not good because the wheel is not that detailed, but uh, it looks pretty cool. Alright, now. Uh, let's go over here. Now let's add wheel colliders to our game. Okay, so in order to do that, what you gotta do is to select all the wheel colliders except for one and delete them. Alright, now you can see that we have only one wheel, wheel here and select that wheel uh, and delete all the, all, and rename it to just wheel. Okay, now uh, click on the wheel. And press F on the keyboard in order to zoom in, and then go game objects, create empty, and this object will gonna uh, will gonna be created in between, in the very center of this 
wheel collider. So this will gonna fix the rotation of the wheel. So you have to do this. It's really important. Okay, so name it as wheel. F L means front left. Oh my God, means front left. F L, front left, and drag this inside of the car and put the wheel inside of this wheel F L. Okay. Then what we have to do is to duplicate this wheel and go into the Z press the uh, orthographic view and put this right over here and then go inside of that thing and then select the wheel mesh and turn it about 180 degrees. Okay. It's gonna be like this. So it's gonna be 180 over here. And let's see, is it in front of it? Yeah, it is in front of it. Alright, now what we have to do next is uh, we have these two wheels, and this uh, wheel is going to be renamed as wheel FR, means front right. And then we're going to go over here, and then we're going to duplicate both of them, and uh, we're going to press Ctrl D to duplicate, and then we're going to drag them at the real back of the car. And I'm going to rename it to RL means rear left and this one as rear right. Rear right. Right now you can see we have uh, wheels assigned to everywhere we want. Alright, now let's create an MPGAM object inside of the car. And we need to rename it to, uh, uh, what are we going to rename it? Let's say um, wheel transforms. Wheel transforms. And put it inside of the car and select all the wheel transforms that we have created and put this inside of the wheel transform. Okay, now you can see that the uh, wheel, uh, wheel transform has all wheels as a child object of it. Okay, now what you have to do is uh, we're gonna add wheel colliders to it. Okay, so uh, we're gonna create, we're gonna press F on the keyboard by selecting the car and create an empty kind of object inside of the car and rename it to wheel. Colliders, wheel colliders, and put it inside of the car, and go to the wheel transform and select all the wheel transforms, and press Control D on the keyboard and put all the duplicated wheel transforms inside of this collider. Okay, now delete all the child object of these transforms of these empty game objects. Get like this. Delete them. All right, so now we have just empty game object. Now select all the wheel, uh, empty game object inside of the wheel colliders and go components, physics, and add uh, this. Uh, where is the wheel collider? Component, uh, wheel collider. All right, this wheel collider. Add it and set their radius to be. Uh, I don't know, but let's check it. Okay, now set the radius to be about 0 0.4. You know, 0 0.39 would be good. Or 0 0.4 would be good. All right. Now add 0 0.4. Now this time, when we're gonna uh, run the game, the car won't, uh, the tire won't gonna fall through the uh, surface. So let's test it. All right. Uh, now you can see that the car uh, that has Car, uh, tires are stay at its position, so that's what we want. And in the next tutorial, we're gonna add uh, uh, movement to the car through through by using these wheel colliders, and uh, uh, and we're gonna touch the scripting in that part uh, into the next part. We're gonna add uh, realistic movement to the car by a script. So uh, till then, goodbye, and keep making games and do all that good stuff. Subscribe to me, comment, like, do whatever you do, and. Uh, Thanks guys for watching this and uh, yeah.